Boy, you snuck up on me. You're so quiet. No, 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 no. Let's, let's be nice, okay? Yes, here's a good boy. It's a young boy coming across to have a drink. He's thirsty as well. Elephants also, like the buffalo, really need to have access to water. Now look at this, because the hippo and the elephant are going to have something of a, an interesting confrontation. I think the hippo is going to get up and move. Yeah, the elephant's going to go chase that hippo away. Oh, time for a mud bath. Oh, good. The elephant didn't chase the hippo away. He's left him just in the corner of the water hole. And he's now using his trunk to spray himself in muddy water. And there you go. You've got an elephant using its trunk in one of the most common ways that elephants do. Laurel, you were wondering why elephants have trunks. And there's actually so many different reasons and different ways that they use them. But it is an incredible thing. And it's something that is almost completely unique to the African and the Asian elephants. So elephants have trunks. One of the big reasons is because they're exceptionally tall. And in order to be able to drink, if they didn't have a trunk to transfer the water from the water hole to their mouths, they'd actually have to kneel down and put their mouth right at the entrance to the dam, which isn't an easy thing to do when you are a couple of thousand pounds worth of animal. In this case, this guy is probably, I would guess, at maybe close to 8,000, maybe even 10,000 pounds. He's still young, not the biggest elephant I've ever seen, but he's still pretty impressive. But that's one of the reasons elephants have trunks. They also need it to feed right at the top of trees. They can stretch their trunk right up. Yes, boy. He's going to go. I think he wants to chase the buffalo. Oh, no. Changed his mind. He's a good flap. Look at him. He's covered in mud to help him cool down. Actually, Alicia, that answers your question about why elephants have rough skin. Well, that is one of the reasons, is because it sort of, all of the mud and the water gets into the cracks of the skin and helps to keep an elephant nice and cool, because it doesn't dry quickly. So the elephant can stay nice and cool, especially out here when it goes over 100 degrees. <laughs> Chasing a bird, silly elephant. Now is he going to go chase the buffalo? No. <laughs> what was that all about, you silly boy? 